is a really useful feature that you might be able to use uh, that allows activities to have their name or the text auto linked to or directly to the activity. If that doesn't make sense, let me show you what that actually looks like and what it means. We're going to create a new page. So we'll go to add activity resource. We're going to add a page and we'll call this assessment activities. So these are the activities that someone is going to complete when they complete this course. In the content, we'll just put in assessments. Underneath that though, we might make that a heading. Underneath that, we're going to put a list of these assessment tasks. So we've got task one, two, three, four, five. So let's just copy each one of those names over. So we'll grab our first one, put that in here. It's our first task. Then we'll grab our second task and just copy all of those over so we have all five tasks listed on our page. Task four and our final task, task number five. Okay, they're all listed on our page. We're going to make them a bullet list, make them nice and neat. Now, because I copied the exact name of this assessment task, it's going to map directly to each of the names of the assessment tasks that we have for the actual quiz or the assignment or the forum. It will all go directly to it. So the idea is when I save this, what should happen is that because I used the exact same name, students should be able to click on this name and it will take them directly to that task without me having to add a hyperlink to it. And this is using a filter. Now the reason it doesn't work yet is because that filter is not turned on. So to do that, we go back to our course, select more, go to filters, and in filters you'll see activity names auto linking is off. So let's default turn that on and save. Back to our course, back to our assessment activities. And you'll see now, it has auto linked the name of each of these tasks directly to the activity itself. So we didn't have to put that link in just by using the exact same name, it's auto linked for us. So if we want to go to assessment task four, we can click on it and it takes us straight to assessment task four. The thing to be aware of is if I change this name from assessment task four to assessment task 4.1, 4 any change at all, even extra spacing can cause this issue. But if I make that change and save, now I go back to my assessments page. You'll see there that number four is no longer linked anymore because that name does not match the assessment's name anymore. So I'm just going to change that back so that it does match. And that way you can see how having the exact identical name, if we go task four with space dash space, your perspective diagram. And we go down to save, return to course. And back to our assessment activities, you can see now it's all relinked again and the student can go directly there. So you can put links to your assessments in your content, anywhere you like in your content, by making sure that that filter is turned on.